Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back. Let's play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. Last time we redeemed ourselves uh, with a boss fight in the Trial Isle, and then we took out the malicious version of the Black Serpent guy, whatever his name was. I forget, but uh, yeah. So today, I was looking around at our defeated enemy list here, and we're honestly pretty close uh, for monsters that we need to defeat uh, in areas. Um, I think there's like two in the sewers here, one in the foothills, uh, and then the rest are... Let's see, I think there's a bunch near... Yeah, Galopolis, which we'll get to. Uh, this guy in the gun, uh, the Laguna. So yeah, we're actually reasonably close here. Caverns under Octagoni, we're not going to do that one yet. But yeah, I think we're just going to go around and collect a lot of the monsters that we're missing here. Uh, minus potentially the ones in the sea, because the ones in the sea will take forever to actually get. And my, uh, yeah, minus like the... Hey, we, we might not get like the Eerie Irie. But definitely not the other side. But a lot of like the uh, the last couple areas that are nearby. I, I think for the Hexwood, we're actually going to have to go back there for a story purpose. Uh, I don't remember about the Royal Art Library, but yeah, most of the other stuff, um, we've gotten the vast majority of the critters, uh, Battleground, we're going back there uh, eventually anyway, so just ignore that for now. But yeah, most of these other ones were basically full, and uh, yeah, uh, the sea, we only got a couple more on the sea to find, we might try to get those too, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish, uh, our, uh, except for the Tickington stuff, because we'll do all that at the end of the game. Yeah, uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, start collecting those last couple monsters, because the sooner we get them out of the way, the sooner we can do other stuff. I mean, you don't have to do, do it this way, obviously, but I'm just doing it this way for... Just to get it out of the way, that way, when we get, that way in an episode or two, when we actually do start going to do all the... Uh, all the post-game story stuff, then we can just, then we can just uh, blitz through it and not have to worry about, you know, monsters on the field trying to find them in between episodes, unless we're trying to, like, grind up, which uh, we'll probably do that in a few episodes, but not right now. I think out here... Uh, let's see. There we go. I think you're the only uh, monster we need out here, the malicious bod characters, I think. And I don't think these guys have anything that we really care about, uh, potentially item-wise, so we're not totally worried about them. And yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna cause any problems. We're just trying to get our base gear complete. That's the main thing here. And you deflected my attack, you rat bastard. How dare you? You're the worst. You are the worst. Told you I was tough. Oh there you go. Veronica gets a level. Nice. Uh we're not gonna worry about skill points right now. Let's see. Hey, I don't think this guy really had anything that we cared about. Yeah, Mr. Archer, the leather hat, plain clothes. So same stuff as the the basic guy there. So yay, and we're gonna ignore everybody. Um, the sewers. I'm trying to yeah, we don't go. We don't actually go this way to get to the sewers, do we? There we go. Let's grab the kitty. And let's knock everybody out. Yeah, sewers are over here, aren't they? I think. I think they're up here. It's been a while since I have been to the sewers the old fashioned way. So I don't remember. But I'm 99% certain they're over here somewhere. I think one of the monsters in the sewer that we can find potentially has, like, red wood or something as one of its stealable items. So that one's kind of nice if you want the wood, I guess. Yeah, nothing new sparkly spot-wise. Uh... How, is, how exactly do we get to the frickin'... Is, I'm trying to remember how we actually get to the frickin', uh... 
the sewers. I think we can get to it from the castle. Yeah, I think we might actually I think we might actually have to go to the castle in order to get to the sewers from there, so yeah, let's do it that way. I did I did like the cutscenes or this the cutscenes and just the scenes in general that they added for the definitive version with Hendrick uh, during the the last time we went to Heliodor Castle. That was nice. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that. But I don't think there's that much more like that type of stuff. I mean there's plenty of other new content, but we don't get that many like new cutscenes with the the people. The party members, sadly. See, this just goes to the kitchen, right? Yes. We will make our way down to the damn sewer as soon as we remember how to get there. One of the maids would keep it a cat. Should it be in here with all the grub, but it don't look like it's in a hurry to go nowhere. He's probably just, uh... <laughs> he's chasing off all the, uh... The rats. That's all he's doing. This goes to... The king's chambers. Yeah. Okay. Which I think we've already looted everything in here. Yeah. I don't think we need any... Okay, yeah, we don't need any of that. That's all food stuff. I'm not trying to get any hungrier than I already am. Alright, uh... What, what's, it's the woman, Eric, but, but how? How'd you get in there? Uh, skills, that's how. Did we actually read this other book right here? Recipe book of Royal Regalia. Yeah, okay, so we've already been in here. That's what I figured, but just wanted to make sure. Alright, so the sewers... I think the sewers are actually down this way. Yeah, they're down here. Okay. Uh, the dungeons and all that good stuff. And I think we finally got all the treasures in the ch in the, the cells and whatnot, so we don't have to worry about those guys. That's nice. Uh, will this take us to where I want to go? Hopefully. It will. Cool. Alright. So we just gotta find a couple little critters here. Uh, let's see. I don't... Actually, you know what? I keep forgetting we can just do uh, Wolf of Monsters. Black Draven, Stark Raven. Okay, so we do need this guy right here. Delicious Poker Pokers. Yeah, I think these guys have like... Uh, Spellbound Bows or something like that. Um... No, they have magic water, and then their rare steel is a tsunami staff, uh, which sounds pretty neat. Of course, the odds of us actually getting said staff are pretty low, but we can try. All right, uh, Mr. Half Inch. And magic water. Okay, good enough. I'll take it. We'll worry about pepping everyone up for... Hallelujah and all that other stuff later. There you go, give him a good quick swish. Do lots of damage here. And by lots, I mean, you know, lots enough. I wish that this swish had better damage ranges. And just like the swish spells in general. But sometimes they'll do all the damage, and sometimes they'll do basically nothing. It's kind of weird. Yoink. Yeah, okay, more magic water. Do not revive him again, please. Thank you. Thank you for my MP back. I think you can fight... Uh, I'm trying to remember if you can find more black dragons down here. Or it might just be the one. Actually, I think you might be able to find more... Uh, hey, more levels, yeah. I feel better than ever. I will do levels later. But yeah, I think you might actually be able to find more down here. Uh, let's see, Stark Raven. Okay, Lamp Blank. Here's the other one we need. Delicious Lava Lamp Blank. And let's see. I think they have most of the same skills as their other. A single file from their common and a Lamp Light from their rare. So if we need Lamp Lights, we can potentially get it from here. But I have most of the stuff that I need for. 
I have most of the uh, materials I need for item creation. I, I need a couple, but for the most part, I'm largely done. And also, lamp lights we can just buy over in the. Lamp lights we can just buy those over in the uh, Celestial Sands area. I think. From one of the merchants. Alright, cool. And that's everybody here. Get all the monsters there done. Alright, so. Uh, let's see. Where do we head next? Let's see, I think probably, yeah, Galopolis has like five looting flow, fine. You know what, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. We don't want to go to the Galopolis region, but we do want to go just to the Galopolis area just to do those. All right, let's start at the Hoto step and work our way from there. And because we have about because we have five, I'm gonna check real fast and see where they're at. So give me one second here. All right, so they're all near the southern campsite. So let's go ahead and if I can get Mr. Kitty out. There we go. Yeah, they're all near the uh, southern campsite, uh, except for like one or two that are actually in like the Celestial Sands area. Uh, am I going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way. I might want to go the the right way. Oh, I'm way closer to the, uh, you know what? Screw it. Oh, yeah, I'm way closer to the uh, wrong area that I thought I was at. Yeah, go to South of Galapagos. Uh, at least one of the monsters that we need right now are in the daytime. The rest, they don't have any conditions, so we're not terribly worried about them. So, kind of, are you one of the ones we need? Uh, I don't think so. You might be. No, we need a. Uh... Okay, we need the Ume, Wagi, Vibizels, the Needlers, and the Cacti Balls around here. Yeah, you. Mr. Needler, we need you. Okay, we don't need the, uh, the Glogmonauts. With the malicious needlers, though, uh, let's see, haystack needlers, uh, we can get lamb's wool from a common steel and rock bomb shards from a rare steel, and these guys only show up during the day, but frankly, I don't think we really need them that much, so, Eric, we're going to switch you out with uh, Veronica, and go from there. Our work isn't done yet. I don't know why you're being so loud. Alright, uh, you, let's go with some uh, pink tornadoes here. Oh yeah, and they run away. As long as you guys don't all run away, we should be good. Um, honestly, I think a cut crack should be enough to finish them off. Almost. Well, we are all four pepped up. You know, this is actually a pretty good chance to show off. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember which ones of these we haven't seen already. Let's do Kazapstrophe, just to show it off. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not necessary for these idiots. But, since it does require four people to be pepped up, we might as well show it off when we get the chance. And there we go. Nice and easy like. Savanda, you get another level. Nice. Uh, we'll worry about skill points later. And Lambs will for their common steel. Alright, we don't care about you. However, we do care about the Cacti Ball. Alright. And then Mr. Cacti Ball. Uh, Duneberry from a common steel and Thorn Whip from a rare steel. If you're using whips, eh, it's probably not that great. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, let's go for some uh, Giga Crash. 
Lots of damage. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Uh Veronica. Kaboom. This is the big one. Hiya! <laughs> nice and easy. Alright, and get rid of you. Yeah, so we're just flying through the enemies just to get them out of the way. If you don't care about, you know, going after all the enemies in the game, that's fine. But, you know, some people do, so we we try to do it. And then, if we can find... I think the other guy we need might actually be, uh... Up here. I know one of the other enemies that we need... We've already fought the fight, Don, so we don't need you. Goodbye. Uh, we've already fought the Robo Robins. I know one of the enemies that we need is this guy right here, which we're going to ignore. We've already fought something similar to that, and we know that they're pains in the ass. Here we go. Here's one that we need right here. Nope. Except not knocking him away. There we go. Malicious poker pokers, or whatever these guys are called. Uh, Prestigitator. Magic Water for Common Steel and Sage's Elixir for Rare Steel. I'm trying to remember if Sage's Elixir are the one that we can already buy, but either way, it's not going to be terribly necessary either way. Good heal. Good heal. Ow. Yeah, I think the Robo Robins are still one of the more dangerous enemies around here. But not dangerous enough. Goodness. Alright, so ignore you. Ignore Flython, get some uh, basic experience, you know, just because. Yeah, I think the other enemy besides the Cactolotl, or whatever that guy's called, is going to be up here towards the actual Celestial Sands area. Actually, yeah, it is. Uh, it's one of those big, fat, demon-looking dudes that we saw on one of the Isles in the Sea. So, no, not you. We can, I don't think we can run that guy over, sadly. Yeah, these guys, I think these guys are called uh, Rusless. And this is one of the areas you can go and steal Serpent Souls from, or one of the enemies you can go steal Serpent Souls from. But we already did all that a while ago, so I'm not terribly worried about it. But there's, yeah, there's this guy, and that guy, and I think potentially, I thought there might have been a third, but no. Yeah, so both of these guys, you can steal your Serpent Souls from these guys. And these guys are basically the same thing that we've already fought, except, you know, nice and dangerous. So the Serpent Souls from a common steel, and a Mighty Armlet from a rare steel, which could be pretty cool. But, I'm not terribly concerned about it. But these guys, these guys will put up a decent fight, so let's go ahead and Swords Dance here. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and sap. Uh, sap. Yeah, uh, these guys, you can get the Serpent Souls from them, and since you need like 60 of them or something stupid like that, it's probably not a bad idea to try to get them from these guys. Especially since there's two right next to each other, and there's a save point like pretty close nearby. Yeah, we probably want to heal just a little bit. Uh, let's go for that multi-heal. We could go on the heal, but I think that might be a bit over-necessary. Alright, and... Let's try a frizzle. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Uh, let's see... Let's do Mer Miracle Moon to get a little bit of health back. Good enough. Sir, there's no need for that. Ow. Alright. Uh, yeah, Jade. talk about other multi heal though. Obviously, Jade's only the one that needs it. Uh, let's go for some Unbridled Blade here. And there we go. Yeah, they have plenty of health, so... If you want your Serpent Souls, uh, steal from one, run away, steal from the other one, run away, or just come back and, you know, try to try to steal from the same one. 
But yeah, that's how you're going to end up getting a lot of your surface souls either from these guys or from the ones we already saw back on whatever sea island that was. You do need like 60, so it's a lot, sadly. But they're easy enough to come by, just it's going to take forever just to steal that many, that's all. Let me check something real fast. I want to check something here in the item bag. Let's see. Oh no, actually, uh, the thing that I'm looking for the item bag is actually in here, I think. I think. No? Huh. Yeah. Oh well. There's something I was going to look at that we could steal from the... Hang on. I thought we... I thought we already had it. No, I think we, I think we just have to steal it from the other dude that I'm thinking about. Oh well. Either way. Uh, let's go fight Mr... Mr. Cactolotto. Who is quite big, quite dangerous, quite ready to eat our faces off. Uh, these guys, they're going to hurt. But we've already fought similar varieties of them, including the boss variety. So we should be okay. But yeah, uh, this is like the malicious Cactolotto. Yeah, big, ugly, dangerous. I think I think uh, Crushed Ice works out pretty good against this guy. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, let's go for that, uh, sap. And then from this guy, you can steal, let's see, a sunny citrine, which I think we already have, and then the earthworm's eye, which I think is an accessory. Let me check. I think it's an accessory that we don't have. Yeah, it's an accessory that raises uh, HP slightly, defense, and then charm, and then it also reduces earth damage by up to 50%. So, not too shabby. But we can also make it, and I think we might have a recipe, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, how do you how do you do on a zap, sir? Not bad. Alright, Serena, if I can get you to dazzle this guy, that'd be, that can be great. Otherwise, you might want to try uh, the earth him. Since I think he will do like a sandstorm, but yeah. Three turns in a row is a bit much there, sir, but you know, whatever. Alright, defense now, let's see how much crushed ice does now. 800, or 756, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's try a bridle blade here. 1040. So yeah, that's better than a uh, disap, so that's fine. Um, uh, you know, let's just do Omni Heal. There we go. We got the MP for it, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, we can try to blunt his attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's try to lower his attack a little bit. There we go. He'll hit super hard. But we're high enough level that it's not gonna wipe us out or anything like that. If he gets like a desperate attack, then we might be in a bit of trouble. But for the most part, I think we'll be okay. Alright, uh, let's see. Sword Dance. Okay, so Unbridled Blade was doing better there. But. Oh, his defense went back. His defense went back. Okay, I got you. I got you. And let's try multi-feet, see how that does. Let's see, we're doing, what, 800-ish? Yeah, I think we did, like, 756 with our crushed ice. Let's see, you're just about dead. Uh, let's see... Yeah, let's just keep up the multi heals just to make sure he doesn't get any lucky attacks there. Uh, 
Well, I'm kind of surprised the sand didn't blind us earlier, but I guess we got lucky there. Uh, bye, Jade. I don't. I'm trying to remember if we have the recipe for the earthworm's eye. I, if we don't, we're gonna get it in this chapter, obviously. But oh, 6400 XP, not bad. Uh, let's see, Mister Mister Earthworm's eye. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we got a level, so we get like a a point or something like that. Uh, two. There we go. That works. We're not gonna get any more uh, flail or not not flails uh, flourishes. Earthworms, uh, yeah, we don't have it yet. It would be under, it would be under, uh, other accessories right there. Well, yeah, we'll get that eventually, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna not worry about the rest of you, and instead... Alright, uh, let's see. So, Glopolis region is good. Luna de Gondoli, let's go over there, since we just need the one. I guess we can just I guess we can just run over there. It's not that far away. By you. Let's see how is everybody doing on Mr. Experiences and whatnot? Uh, let's see. Hendrick, you're only twelve thousand away. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I don't want to do the level grinding just yet because I still want the bosses that aren't like the super bosses to have, you know, some challenge. But if you wanted to, you could take your time right now and just grind up to 99 or 100 or whatever the max is, and it would be pretty easy. What's up, Crab Man? What's up, Earl? Eee. Goodbye. I don't think they have any of the enemies right here. It's just the same basic little bastards. No, I wanted to do. I wanted to rest up actually, and also ch check the. Uh, let's see. I think it's just the malicious spotty punk. Unless we already. Yeah, I, th I think it's just going to be the malicious, malicious spotty punk in here, so we're not going to need uh, too much. Yeah, it's just him. So honestly, we don't really need to worry about the resting up as much as I was thinking. Neat. Bye, kitty. We'll miss you. I'd rather have you than the... enemy I'm gonna go fight, but if we can pull you anywhere, you just kinda teleport over, so... it works. Uh, Splatty Punch, I think these guys are over in the... the far area, actually. Like, the area right before the Laguna de Fun Gun... The, the Grotto, or whatever it's called. I don't know what the frickin' place is called. I don't live there. Yeah, some of these areas didn't really get a whole lot of updates and enemies, and some of them, they got, you know, all the new enemies. This is the way down. No. There we go. Uh, we don't need to ride anybody, so we're gonna ignore you guys. Kinda surprised they didn't upgrade the the wear tigers or whatever they were called over here. I think that would be somebody that wants to be stronger. Alright, nice. splatty bump. Uh, you guys should be, like, right over here, right? I don't think any of the, uh, sparkly spots are new. Yeah. Splatty Punk. You're supposed to be, like, around here somewhere. Oh, 
Where are you, dude? Oh, I think you might be up there. Come on. Climb slower, my good sir. Climb slower. Splatty punk, splatty punk. Where are you, you little splatty punk bastard? Um, he might just show up with another enemy or something, but he's, he should be around here somewhere. Hmm. He might not show up when it's raining, that might be what it is. That's the case, and we have to go rest up. Or I might just be in the wrong area. No, I think you should. I think you should be around here. Huh? He's either over here somewhere. Or he's on the wooden platform area that we were just at like a few minutes ago, uh, where like the were tigers and stuff used to be. Yeah, we might have just missed him over there. He doesn't have anything that we care about steel-wise. I think he has like a fur uh, fur hood and like a fur poncho or something stupid like that. You know, I think he, I think those are like his Act One steels, pretty much. So, nothing we care about in the slightest, but we just want to get him in our inventory and out of the way. And there he is. I see you. You're hiding. There you go. Sir, you're about to die quite maliciously. Thank you for the MP. He appreciates it. Or she appreciates it. Sorry. Get crit. I'm still not sure why they say critical hit for us and desperate attack for enemies, but oh well. Alright, cool. So that is that guy right there. Yeah, malicious splatty punk you had. Yeah, fine fur, fur hood. Nothing we care about. Uh, let's see, let me just make sure... Caverns of Dr. Yoni, we're not going to get there, uh, because... There's going to be story stuff in Octagonia. That's, uh, in case I haven't mentioned it, which I probably did, the main reason I'm ignoring, like, the main cities as much as possible right now is because a lot of the main cities do have, like, um, story stuff for us to do. So, like, when we go to Phenomenon, uh, there's going to be stuff there that we can do uh, that will be, like, a little mini-chapter. And then I figure this way, we can just go ahead and get them all eventually. Uh, let's see. Stimbleheim region. Yeah, the Eerie Iri. Yeah, I think we can go back to I think we can go to the Eerie Iri real fast. That could work. Cool. Let's do Eerie Iri. But yeah, uh, after we get all these last couple monsters, we'll head over to the cities and we'll just start doing all the side quests they have available for us, which is going to be quite a fair amount. Alright, let me find the uh, monsters we need real fast, and I'll be right back. Alright, so one is like right nearby. Uh, this guy right here. And I'll, yeah, this guy doesn't really have anything we care about stealing. And I think we might just be able to zap him into death. So I'm going to go ahead and defend. And we're going to zap. Get wrecked. And there they are. Veronica wins again! Maybe we could ride it, but I'm not really terribly worried about it. Yeah, I don't think these guys have anything we care about. Uh, I keep forgetting I can just go right here. Yeah, Pale Pearl, Equable Emerald, neat. Okay, so I thought we had I thought we had to fight this guy as well, too, but now we just gotta fight the other guy. And I think he's up there by, like, the top of the, uh, the map. Um... Yeah, he's like up here. 
So, he's like right here. So, I'm just going to meet you guys there. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Found him. And Licious Knights. Uh, their bear steel is a uh, Cavalier Cleaver, so an axe for Hendrick. And their common steel is, I think, Mithril Ore. But I'm not terribly sure worried about either of those. I think, the, I think the Cavalier Cleaver is one of the ones we've had for, like, a while, isn't it? Ooh, that hurt. Flash Bang Wallop. I don't think we've, I don't think we've seen a... Uh, have we seen Fritz Cracker? I don't know. You know, let's just try it. Okay, that works. Goodbye. Thank goodness. Thank you for your, thank you for your mithril ore, sir. All right, cool. And then, yeah, you guys are all done. And then let's see. All right, so yeah, everything else over here is done. Uh, next up would probably be like the uh, snare felt. I'm sorry, uh, the hexwood and the royal library. And after that, we would have the other side. the battleground and then the sea I think yeah so this the battleground uh, the battleground we're gonna have to go there to get two side quests done um, one for making the ultimate sword of light because we got to get more or calcum or rarefied or calcum as it is in the definitive version of the game and then we also have to get uh, we have to fight like one of those giant cactolotl type uh, monsters uh, to get a something for Serena for her quest. But yeah, everything else though is pretty close to done except for the sea. And honestly, there's not as much there as I thought, but that'll be something we have to worry about. Uh, so for now, let's go for. Let's go. Let's go to the library and then the hexwood. Um. Okay, it works. I thought we had quests to go over here, but I guess not. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, points, or... Checkpoints. I thought we had checkpoints to get over there, but I guess not. Yeah, I was thinking that the, uh, the bed right there counted as a checkpoint, but I guess not. Alright, kitty. Hopefully we don't need to use the... Ice breaking things in order to get to the library because that'd be a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. I'm ignoring you. Go away. I got better things to do than to fight you idiots. I already fought you guys. The worst. Will you let me fucking run away, you bastards? If I have to obliterate you, you're not gonna like it. I'm gonna try to run away one more time. And after that, I'll be good. I don't know why they insist on bothering me. Let's do the library first, and then we can go to the, uh, the hex wood afterwards. You still have a really cool design there, sir. A really cool design. Alright, uh... We need to go back there anyways to get up there, don't we? I don't think we need to break the ice again since we already did. Maybe we need to go back this way to actually get up there. There's like five of you guys, and I'd rather not deal with you. I don't think, I don't think we can run that guy over the big horse. I think we've already mounted him, and he's just like a, uh, in case we haven't, he's just like a really slow horse. Like, his running speed is like walking speed for anything else, pretty much. 
It's kind of sad. Ah, neat. Oh. Right, we got like what three or four people to find in here. So you're not you're not the malicious splatty funk, are you? know, you're just a regular. Alright, so let me see where these guys are. Alrighty. Uh, one is on the second floor and one is on the third floor. So let's just try to get to it. I think luckily we don't have to worry about uh, reactivating like the crystals and stuff. I think it's mostly the same from the way it was in Act one. Granted, you know, good luck remembering how to get up there. Actually, I think one of these might be a great guardian of the hexwood. No, uh, one of these will have the uh, very long ass fucking text. Uh, one of these will have a book that we need for I think to get one of Hendrix's skills. I think we still need that quest, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Pointless Pride, no, not you. Uh, Mr. Vista, no, not you. Not you. Yeah, you right here. Stifleheim, Phenomenon, and Heliodor. So, go away. Is this the uh, one that we just read? Yay, Wizards Canticle Book 1. Okay, yeah. So this must be the, this must be the Sealed Grimoire of Morkans and the Monk Angry Law told soul about. Recites the mention that he learned from the Monk and his spell protecting the book is broken. Hear me, O spirits, the yay great realm of Erdria, realm of boundless skies, the bottomless seas of endless plains, heed my call. It must be part of the more incantation Morkant used to make his magic more powerful, soul carefully committed to memory. Neat. Oh, that's... I think that's for, uh... Veronica or Rab, actually. Yeah, because I, I forgot about that. Uh, there's a there should be a book in here for Hendrick as well. Okay, how the heck do I get up there? Because I'm not remembering how to. It must be back here somewhere. I just missed the. Uh... The way up. You don't have, like, an elevator in you that I forgot about, do you? No. There is a shortcut around here somewhere. I just don't remember where the frick they put it. Hey, you're not even... You're not even interactable anymore. So... Yeah, here we go. No. Where the frick do we go to get up? Stairs, because I have no freaking idea at this point. Um, this is going to destroy me. Yeah, that's, that's the exit. Where is the? Uh... Yeah, we can't even we can't even touch that. Where is the way up? Still just the treasure chest, yeah. I guess we do have to redo the whole, like, floor thingy. Okay, that makes me sad that we have to redo all that. But, oh well. Either way. Once we find the book, and then we also find the uh, other couple monsters, then we should be good to go. I really thought that I really thought it was just going to keep the uh, shortcuts that we had previously unlocked unlocked, but uh, I guess I was asking a bit much. Their game, thanks for making my life more difficult than it needs to be. Much obliged. Alright, uh, are you one of the ones we need, uh, you're either one of the ones we need or you just look exactly like him, because there should be another version of that guy, unless it's already him. Yeah, that's, that's the Professor Sword. 
<laughs> so we need the we need the one that looks like him. Seal into the serpent, so yeah, we don't need you. Yeah, there is a there's a monster up here that we need on the second floor. We just gotta find the little dude. I think it might be the yellow guy right there. But while we're here, Ye Wizard's Canticle Book Two. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Grant unto me thy power that I might protect this beautiful world and thy children as peoples from the afoul machinations of that most vile and villainous beast, the Dark One. Cool. Wait, actually, how many more books do we need for that quest, actually? No, not you. Um... Uh... Three time honor tones. Okay, so there's still one more. Actually, so in that case, the uh, the one for the one for Hendrick might actually just be in the in the town instead of in here. Yeah, Clipto Reptile, you are what we're looking for. Teaching a class there. Let's see. Serpent stole from a common steel and a dragon robe from a rare steel. So. If you need more servant souls, and you still haven't got them for some reason, we can try to get it from here, I guess. I'm going to switch you for you. Here goes try to nothing. Get that robe. Probably not. I think you might be weak to ice, but I'm not sure. Alright, either way, you're done. Goodbye. Alright, then the other two monsters should be upstairs somewhere. Um, if I could get if I could get you to like go away, that'd be great. I think this is the uh, the embarrassing one, right? No, I I, I know one of these. Uh, is the one that's like the um, what's it called the the one where uh, the one that we can choose to start of the game to make the game harder? Uh, what the fuck is the damn called? Uh, also, where's the what the fuck is that damn thing called? Where is the where is that green light that we need to get up further? Go away, Platy Punk. We don't need you. There we go. That's what I'm going for. Uh, what is that freaking called? Uh, shy Pox. There we go. Yeah, one of these books has the uh, Shy Pox curse talked about in there. And I thought it was one of those ones right there. But we've already read it, so we're not terribly concerned if we don't find it. We are concerned if we don't find the other stuff that we need, though. Like... Are you one of the ones... Are you one of the ones that we need? Uh, yeah, you were one of the ones you needed. And you ran away, you little bastard. Favorite fashion... Okay, already got that. Okay, yeah, we, we do need one of those uh, killer robot fellas right there. What about you? You might be the, uh, the other one that we need. Yay, Wizard's Canticle Book 3. Nice. Let's see. Let me thy might, fleeting and ephemeral, sublime and binding, rain down upon me thy glorious luminance. Cool. And now we can go back to the, uh, the monk in Angry Law and tell him about that. And Rab will get a nice, fat, 50 boost to his magical might and his magical mining, I do believe. This might be the Shy Fox book. No, it's the, uh, the rings. I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I'm looking for the uh, Shy Fox book. We don't really need it, but whatever. All right, Mr. Malicious Hunter Mech that I was trying to find. Uh, silver ore from a common steel and molten globules from a rare steel. But I don't think this guy's going to cause too many issues. Uh, I might as well steal from him because uh, if we get the molten globules, that could be nice. But 
Oh well, I guess. Get crit or miss. Sir, that hurt. And there goes my attack stat. Uh, yeah, let's go to pop a heal here. And then we just need the one more enemy, and I think we could be done with this particular area. Uh, you can smash. Should be plenty of damage. Three eighty-five. Uh, we might have we might have done a little better with just uh, Kazap or something like that. But oh well. You're not as uh, hunter killer as you would believe. Uh, yeah, how much will just like zap will do? Because here crash at like yeah, 350 or something like that. So, yeah, because zap will. We win again. Any of the zap spells will do more than enough there. Perfect. All right, uh, we already got you. You're gonna run away. That's fine. We already got you. That is the area that we're not worried about. Okay, we actually do gotta go to the fourth floor in order to, in order to get to the uh, third floor, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't think the living statue, yeah, we already, we already fought that living statue, I think. Yeah, so we don't need you. Here's the Lost Kingdom. I already read that a while ago. So you just want to make sure there's no other books up here for us to mess around with. I think this is where we just came back up, yeah. Yeah, so that's all the books over here. So, I ignore you, and then I go down to... Over this last dude is probably over here. Where's the green thing that we need to utilize? I don't think it, I don't. I, I didn't think it was the one in the middle, but it might be. I thought the one in the middle just opened up the well, the thing in the middle. But yeah, actually, it might actually make it so we can get to other areas on the third floor as well. Probably. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in the middle area that we would care about. We could check. I mean, we're not getting anything else done this episode besides monsters. Alright, that gets me out here. Uh, you run away like a little bastard. And then, yeah, there's the other guy we need. This guy right here. The malicious Erector. Hector the Erector. Uh, Sages Elixir from a Common Steel and Seed of Therapeusis from a Rare Steel. So, if you're trying to get your magic winning up, that could be nice, but uh, that would take forever to just get the actual steel off it, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, what the <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Oh, you, you were uh, kind of a chump. Well, there we go. That... That's the last enemy in here. This might be the uh, shy box book. No. Oh, but this this is one of the books for uh, Hendrix, though. Yea, Drustiniad, Secrets of Yea for a minute. One single word encapsulate all that I have learned of ye art of defense in my long storied career, Earth. Like ye earth beneath thy feet, thou must needs be solid and unyielding, as steadfast as ye mountain itself. Though thy foes may strike, their strikes shall be as rain upon ye a cliff face. Cool. Mystery of defense. Oh, we got all four. Awesome. I thought we still needed, uh, I thought we still needed, like, one more. But since we don't, that makes my life easy. Cool. Um... Yeah, we'll open up the, uh, way to the middle area just for shits and giggles. We'll make this a longer episode just so we can get all the uh, monster stuff that we need to find done and out of the way.
and the next episode we'll start doing other stuff that's not uh, monster hunting. We'll probably also turn in our our little buffs for Hendrick and Rab, so that'd be nice. Uh, you know, there's nothing in there, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, zoom over to Angry Lot. And let's talk to Mr. Person. And this will be a nice little boost for Rab just to make his spells hit a little harder and heal a little better. Not a massive boost, but definitely enough. Let's see, because his magics, or I'm sorry, his attributes are, uh, let's see, 590 and 590. So yeah, I think after this they'll be a 640 each, which will be quite not bad, actually. Uh, that's as good magical mini as uh, Serena, and almost as good as uh, Veronica. That's actually quite nice. They don't. He doesn't get a bunch of the spells that they get, but he'll make an excellent spot heal or dealing good damage or stuff like that. So yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Just go right over here. Now you're the you're the blade guy, aren't you? Nope. Oh, okay. So, so have you located and digested all three volumes of Morcan's great work? Yep. Hear me, O spirits of the great realm of Erdria, realm of boundless skies, and bottomless seas, of endless plains, heed my call. Grant unto me thy power that I might protect this beauteous world and thy children, his peoples, from the foul machinations of that most vile and villainous of beasts, the Dark One. Lend me thy might, fleeting and ephemeral, sublime and blinding, rain down me upon thy glorious limits. So, this is a spell whose mastery can unleash untold magical powers. I'm not nearly enlightened enough to feel its effects myself, but for a seasoned sage such as Lord Robert, it's sure to, sure to work wonders. Lord Robert, if you would. Rab reads out Morkan's incantation at the top of his voice and suddenly feels as if all the energy of Urdra is flowing through his veins. His magical might and magical meaning increased by 50. Truly, Lord Robert, you are a titan of the arcane arts. You have mastered the mysteries of Morkan's incantation after a single reading. The great sorcerer left those books behind in order to pass on his knowledge to future generations. No doubt he would be greatly pleased to see that you have taken up a torch. I too feel blessed to have been given the opportunity to something that went too fast. Alright, yeah, uh, so Rab gets a nice fat little boost to his uh, magic powers there, so... Yeah, 640. 640 each, that's pretty good actually. I just realized the hero's attack power is 730. That's, that's freaking ridiculous. See Hendrick, 518. He is 200 points above anybody else. That's pretty awesome, actually. All right, uh, let's also go up to. Let's see, Haven's above. Uh, you're over there. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard to get to. Yeah, this will be a nice little boost towards uh, Hendrick right here. Uh, primarily, it buffs up his Blind Man and Biff ability, so that it doesn't have to, so he doesn't have to be blinded to get the the attack boost, and it be, ends up becoming one of his more powerful attacks now, since you don't have to worry about being blinded to to use it. So it's just a nice, solid little upgrade there. Harmonic... No, not, not, not you. You're the wrong one. Um, you gotta go that way. Yeah, let's just go the fast route. And actually, I think we will just do one more episode of monster hunting because it's gonna take me for it's gonna take me a while to find all those bastards on the sea. So yeah, we'll probably just have to make it a second episode of monster finagling just to get them out of the way. Found each tome, read each, absorbed its contents, addressed in wisdom. 
attack like fire, defend like earth, move like water, keep calm, strong heart, wisdom of Drustin is profound. Hendergunner's hands, word of Drustin ring true, knowledge of true warrior awakens. As Hendrick mulls over Drustin's word of wisdom, he sees a sudden moment of clarity, and sees how to make Blind Man's Biff much more powerful. Dark One fears power of Drustin, now Hendrick has power of Drustin. Dark One feels Hendrick, fears Hendrick perhaps. Unleash Blind Man's Biff, watch Dark One cower. Know this, Luminary, you'll prevail. All Watchers know this, we are here, by your side, until the end. Fantastic. Yeah, Blind Man's Biff is just, uh... Well, you don't have, you don't have to be blinded pretty much anymore, so... It's a nice little quality of life. Let's see, it's like right over here. Yeah, so it used to have to be it used to have to be uh, blinded for it to work. It still only, it still hits a um, I think it I, I'm trying to remember if it's a random target or not. But either way, it's still a nice little chunk of damage. Matter of fact, let's uh, try that out real fast. Just uh, find some generic little. Find some generic little monster out here and clobber him with it or something. Finding all these monsters takes freaking forever. Uh, let's see. Put Hendrick in there instead of you. Ah. And what do you have on equipment wise, Mr. Hendrick? Uh, climax is good. I was trying to see if we also had the, the other axe that we could have stolen. The Cavalier axe, but I think we might have had one and sold one already. Actually, it would probably tell me right in, uh, uh, here. Yeah, I think it was just, like, the Cavalier Cleaver or whatever it is. Alright, uh, we're not gonna go for Mr. Dragon, because he's big and he's gonna crispy me. And I'd rather not be crispied. So we're gonna go with somebody like the, uh, Hammerhead or something, you know. Make my life slightly... Less of a pain in the ass. Alright, let's see here. Let's keep at it. Uh just steal, I guess, I don't really care. Defend. All Defend. Right. And Blind Man's Biff. Yeah, so it does choose a random enemy. That's what I thought. And you blocked it, you bastard. Ah, try that again. 520. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I, th I think his other attacks still might be more powerful. Let's try like a uh, parallax or something like that. But All right. it's still a nice little upgrade just to make it more usable than what it was. Uh, let's try uh, Parallax. Ha, ha, parallax. 483. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it might be it might be slightly stronger than. <laughs> but either way, it's just got a nice little buff. Either way, uh, next episode we'll go ahead and go to. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and head to. The Hexwood to get those guys, and then probably go try to find those bastards out on the uh, sea in order to get everything we need there. Uh, the battleground. I'm trying to decide because um, really the only thing we need to do at the battleground is besides all the monsters, uh, we got to find the um, the item for Serena for her quest to get her plus 100 magical mending boost and then also we need to find the item to make the uh... the sword of light uh... let me see here uh... i think we have the recipe for the uh... 
the ultimate sword of light or whatever they call it but we might have to like do a quest for it. no we have we have the quest we have that so but yeah we still need to go yeah because we need to make we need to make like the uh, the basic sword of light uh, I'll look. I'll look in between episodes, and depending on what we need to do, we'll probably go to the battleground and get that, and start getting the uh, Supreme Sword of Light made. So we'll see. But either way, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.